Well, for those of you who are interested in the upcoming M6 chip roadmap, stay tuned because we're going to be going through this particular article. And as always, I will link to this if you want to go over here and check it out for yourself. Before we continue, I would like to remind you it's completely free, by the way. You can do what's up here, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and of course, comment. It helps a lot with the YouTube algorithm and all that good stuff. Now, I am actually using right now a Mac Mini M4 to shoot this video. I'm using OBS Studio, a camera, a bunch of lights, a bunch of monitors. It does everything that I wanted to do aside for hardcore gaming. But if this can do what I want it to do, I would like it to be a bit faster when it comes to rendering videos and editing videos. But again, it's the base model. So, you know, it's, I can't ask for a miracle here, but this M6 chip may be that miracle. Now, this is a big deal. And I think this is what's going to make this chip absolutely blistering fast. The M6 chip is going to move to the two nanometer process. Apple shifts to wafer on wafer multi-chip module packaging or WMCM. This integrates the CPU, the GPU, the neural engine and DRAM for faster data movement. This provides a structural shift in performance, not just an incremental increase. This is another big improvement, moving away from mini LEDs to OLEDs. OLED screens will offer richer contrast, deeper blacks, insane HDR performance, and better battery life, as well offering a much thinner display. And of course, if that display is a little thinner, the overall design of the laptop will be a little bit thinner as well. So it looks like the MacBook Pro will be a little thinner and lighter, but the existing ports will remain. So an HDMI, MagSafe, and the SD card slot. Now the camera design apparently is going to be changed for this one. The display notch is replaced by a punch hole camera. This provides a full clean edge to edge display without interfering with the Mac OS menu bar. Wow, look at this touchscreen integration now. Interesting, interesting. The MacBook Pro will finally feature a touchscreen display using on-cell touch technology. The hinge is reinforced to prevent screen wobble during tapping. Yep, this might be the one to go for. Now, it's possible that the MacBook Pro, or at least a version of it, you'll be able to connect it to your cellular network. So that would be great and certainly would be absolutely amazing for people who are on the go. Now, this is not going to be cheap. Reports here suggest that it could be $700 more than the current MacBook Pro. That MacBook Pro currently is anywhere from $2,000 to $2,500 US. So it ain't going to be cheap. As for a release date, maybe sometime in early 2027. Anyway, if you have more information on this or you would like to comment, do so down below. And I will see you guys in the next one.